This is a great exercise for you to do at home. This is Pogo, my five-year-old homebred. And as you can see, he's appropriately named. So these are five uprights. These are 50 centimeters, so they're not big at all. And what I'm doing, I'm jumping them one at a time just so he can work out, see where his feet are and react to the fence in front of him. The distance between the uprights is one stride. Obviously, change it according to your horse. And if you've got a longer arena or less jumps, change it so it's two strides, perhaps between three uprights. You just change it according to what you have available at home. If you're not jumping at the moment due to lockdown, then don't be afraid to do poles on the ground. My advanced horses have, have to keep the poles on the ground because they find it far too exciting to be jumping. As you can see, I've now linked two fences together. So two and four upright are being linked together. This is helping my steering, starting to introduce that he has to listen in between fences. Now I'm changing the rein. And when you're linking the fences, really make sure that your eyes are up and looking ahead. Here he fights with me here and drifts out that outside shoulder and was a bit surprised by the fence. So I repeated the exercise, really focusing on where my eyes are looking and my outside leg. So my right leg here and he did it much better. Again, took a bit of time in the middle just so I could really focus on my aids, direction and turning him. This time I'm jumping one, three and five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So he finds the left hand turn much more difficult than the right hand turn as he put an extra stride in. I now do the same, but this time I'm doing the right hand turn first, followed by the left hand turn. And there he made that four on his difficult left hand turn, but he was a bit off it, so I repeat it. One, two, three, four four one two three four there so you got a bit closer to that last one that time much better now i'm going back to the left hand turn being first hoping that he'll get the four strides one two three four one two three four there very good boy to finish i then chop down the five uprights in a straight line with one stride in between you can make them bigger at this point if you wish, but I kept them low. This is my other five-year-old, Inky. So again, he starts with jumping them all individually, followed by doing two together and then three. So when you're doing this exercise, really think about controlling their outside shoulder in the turns. So here, I then keep my outside leg on, left leg, and then here he bobbles out, so he finds it difficult. So I repeat the exercise, really thinking, so left leg now, good, then more right leg, right leg, right leg, still difficult, so I do it one last time. So this final time, really trying to focus on my outside leg, so that left leg, and then right leg now, right leg, right leg, yes, gets it. Then we go the other way, so left hand first, four strides, one, two, three four really good and again it's repeated one two three four one two three four he then goes down all five in the middle i as a rider i'm trying not to interfere on the contact and just letting the jumps back him off. So I stay forward over the fence, let him do the work. He just loses a bit of balance in that corner. But here you can see the straightness coming down. A bit wobbly, but pretty straight. Now, this is Ziggy, incognito. He is an eight-year-old this time. And he's doing the exercise. Uh, he's got a huge stride, so he finds the fall really short. 
but I just try and collect him, make him slow down. And he is cantering through the exercise rather than trotting because he can do it quite easily in trot. But I want him to learn to just wait a bit more, take a bit more time, back off the fences a bit more. There, that's better. Less fighting as well in the middle. This is now the other rain. And as you can see here, he takes a bit of a flyer in. One, two, three. So he got away from me and I couldn't get to the third part. So I repeated the exercise, making sure he did the four. It was close, but I was able to get to the final part. And again, one last time, really thinking of those outside shoulders, outside aid. So left leg now, much better. Now Ziggy's coming down in a straight line over them all. Again, they're one stride in between. And then I just repeat that off the other rein. This is now off the left rein, again down the middle. And now I'm jumping down the left hand side of the fence. So this is now more accuracy thinking of specific area of the fence you're wanting to jump. So now this is the right hand side. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more, follow Alyssa Wilkinson Eventing on Instagram and Facebook.